All right, so I wanted to show you guys a, a really easy and quick trick to get through a photo that is shot in a similar style to a photo that you've already edited. So let me clarify that. So I took this picture, had a photo shoot basically with this model, and this is one of the photos that I liked, and I did, edited it in Photoshop, went through my Lursa system, and produced this photo. Well, I always keep the original PSD files that I create. And so what I can do, since a lot of the aesthetic was built using adjustment layers, I can copy them over to another photo shot in the same series. So the next photo over that I liked was this one. And what I originally did before I edited it in Photoshop on this first photo is I did make some changes. So if we'll go to as shot, and it shows you that I changed it to this aesthetic using probably the temp and the tint. I don't think I did any adjustments in the calibration area. Yeah, so this is just all tint basically and temp. So I went ahead and copied those settings. If you check all, in this case we don't need to check all, we'll just check none. And it's literally just the white balance that I copied over. So I copied that over, pasted it, and yeah, so then I opened up this photo in Photoshop and I opened up the PSD file of the first photo that I edited. What you can do is go to the first photo and look at the adjustment layers. If you follow my Lursa method, which was liquefy, retouch, separate aesthetic, then all of your adjustment layers will be on top and all your editing as far as retouching is down below frequency separation creating your masks and all of that that's all below and done early on in the editing process but the aesthetic part the adjustment layer part is the last piece and so click shift click on that or click on that rather color balance and then go to the top and hold the shift button down and then click on the top adjustment layer, or rather this group, and that will select them all. Then I'm just going to copy Command C on a Mac. I think it's Control C on a PC. And then I'm going to go to the new photo that I want to edit, and I'm going to click on the background copy here and just do a Control V. So it will paste the aesthetic. Now, as you can clearly see, there's a lot of masking that I did specific to that first photo. So when the time comes, I'm gonna need to apply new masks to all of these things. However, you can see that this is a very, very quick way to choose to create the same aesthetic. And what I do is I'll turn these off, and then after I get through the liquefy, retouch, and separate process of Lursa, then I'll turn these on and just re and redo my masks. And so that will, basically keep me from having to go through the process of choosing the right color balance and harmonies that I wanted in that first photo, in this photo. Now, if you obviously, if you want to go a different direction color-wise, then this may not be what you want to do. But if you want to keep the exact same aesthetic, then this is a really great way to do it. Okay, guys, I hope that helps. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and make sure to hit the bell and let me know what you would like me, what Photoshop topic you would like me to discuss. Or if there's a photography topic you'd like me to talk about, let me know in the comments. Thanks all.